Good evening, everyone. So there have been a couple questions about how to create a clipping mask for the uh, snowboard templates. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on mouse pose here and just walk you through this briefly. Uh, there's a couple things that I need to highlight ahead of time. First things first, there are pre-built vectors inside the program that have the dimensions already set for you to be able to create the clipping masks. Next, you'll need to use the symbols panel and then we'll com be coming up here to object and clipping mask and make. So first things first, here's the issue. When we create these vectors, I'm going to use my direct selection tool, we can see that I have one and two, I've got a bunch of different things that are happening here. I basically made some shapes and used Pathfinder to cut them out and then just separated them a little bit. I have a gradient in the background and some drop shadows. This is doing plenty uh, in terms of the advanced skill set demonstration. So you can see it doesn't have to be terribly complicated in terms of the overall aesthetic. I'm just looking for these skills. All right, the first thing I need to do to create a symbol is I need to select them all, which is what I've done. I've used the black arrow and I just did a kind of marquee selection outside of everything and make sure I had all of the pixel information selected. The next thing that I want to do is just pick it up, pick up one of the pixels that's selected. They'll all come with it and drag and drop this into the symbols group. That's going to show you a little blue line there that lets you know that it's going to be adding all of these pixels into the symbol. Now that pulls up a symbols option. I'm just going to call this mountain. Flip it from a movie clip to a graphic and then hit OK. And that turns that whole grouping of pixels into nothing more than a symbol. And I can tell that it's a symbol because it gets this little cross icon right here in the middle of all of those vectors. So I can go ahead and um, move this layer into and underneath the clipping mask for the bottom board. And if I just click on this again, I can see roughly where I need to position that. But for now, I'm just going to close up the transparency and appearance panels. I'm going to pick up and hold this whole entire layer and just scoot it down so it's right underneath the path. Now with this information selected, I know I need to go down a little bit. Here we are. And that's looking like it might be just a touch high. Let's see one more time. And I can adjust this too after the um, clipping mask is created, but it's just easier if I get it set right out of the gate. Okay, so if you remember in Photoshop, when we created clipping masks, we had pixels that we would pour into the layer underneath its shape. So it was kind of like pouring brownie batter into a pan. Well, in this case, we have our cookie dough and we've got a cookie cutter. and We just need to cut out the cookie dough in the shape that we want it to be. So we want to have our uh, shape on top and then all of our information on bottom. So it's just a little bit of a reverse of the way we do it in Photoshop. But we do have to select both things. So you can press Command or Control on a PC to select both of those um, pixel informations, the path, which is going to create the clipping mask, and then the symbol. Then I come up here to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And there we are. Presto changeo. I've got my shape that's been turned into a clipping mask. Now I see some issues. I, I've got this right here and I kind of want to center it. So to center something, to edit a shape, it's just like any compound shape. You double click on it and then you can kind of move it around and position it how you want. I can scale this. I can do basically what I want. In this case I want to make sure that there's no pink underneath there on that side of the board. That looks great right there. So I hit escape and that gets me out of the, the clipping mask isolation mode and I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, just for your own uh, ability to see, I've also got another board up here and all of the clipping group information is right here. So the same exact thing happened before. I've got a clipping group that is created when I make a clipping mask. And that's it. I'm ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I hope that that helps. I wish you the best.